Here's how to register Democrats in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, you can register Democrats either digitally or with a paper form. If you do it online, you can register to vote and sign up for mail-in ballots at the same time. If you register to vote for the first time using a paper form, you can only register. You cannot request a mail-in ballot until your registration is processed. So that may influence which one you choose, but whichever way you go is great. You're getting people registered. Filling out the paper form correctly is crucial, so we'll cover that first. We always recommend you fill out the form for the voter, since you'll be faster and more legible and won't miss anything you need to fill in. Make sure to use a black pen to fill out the form. Always start by asking, are you a citizen? It's the second question on the form. You must be a citizen to register, and if you're not, trying to register can actually derail the whole citizenship process, so it's worth making sure up front. Then ask, will you be at least 18 years old by election day? Election day in this case is the November 8, 2022 midterm elections. Now go back to the top and fill the rest out in order. Get their first name, middle name, last name, and any suffix like junior or senior. Ask if this is the first time they're registering. If it is, check new registration. If it's not, check the appropriate box. If someone says they can't vote because they've been convicted of a crime, let them know that as long as they're not currently incarcerated, you can re-register them right now. In Pennsylvania, neither parole nor probation take away your right to vote. Birth date is mandatory. Sex and race are not, so you can skip those. Phone and email are optional, but we treat them like they're mandatory because they are so important to the party's get out the vote efforts. Address must be a physical address in Pennsylvania, not a P.O. box. Don't forget to ask if there's an apartment number. If they don't know their municipality, that's okay. Just skip it. Ask if the address is where you receive mail. And if it is, check same as above and skip mailing address. If someone is experiencing homelessness, check I do not have a street address or permanent residence and on the back of the form you can write down their cross streets and mark with an X the corner where they stay. They'll at least be able to vote a provisional ballot. Next, ask for their driver's license and the last four digits of their social security. Get both if you can, but if they only have one, that's also fine. If they have neither, check the box below and continue. When you get to party preference, this is the only point in the process where you are not legally allowed to be partisan. You can't say, come on, just be a Democrat, what's wrong with you? But you can state the facts. This is our chance to throw in a little information about the Democratic Party that can be super useful. Let them know that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are the Democratic President and Vice President and that Donald Trump was the head of the Republican Party. You can tell them Democrats are the one major party fighting for women's rights and civil rights, fighting to expand health care, using science to end COVID, and sending out $1,400 COVID relief checks. If they choose Democrat, thank them from the bottom of your heart. And if you're an extrovert, sing, dance, or cheer. If they say green or independent, they're often our political allies, so we continue the process. We need their votes for sure. On the off chance they say Republican or Libertarian, remain positive and respectful and hand them the form. Let them know they just have to sign it and mail it in and they'll be registered. We are legally obligated to give everyone a form. We are not obligated to help them fill it out or mail it in for them, nor should we. Our time is precious, and we need to use every minute of it registering Democrats. Of course, if they say anything other than Republican or Libertarian, we complete the process and hang on to the form ourselves. 
The truth is, when you're wearing a liberal looking t-shirt and or hat and or pins, they actually give you a force field that keeps Republicans away. If they need any kind of voting assistance, mark that here. Ask if their name or address has changed if they were registered before. Don't worry about PA voter number or the year. Finally, hand them the clipboard and have them check it for accuracy. Sign it and date it. Then you put your own name as the assistant and sign it. Skip the phone number. For address, use the Field Team 6 address, which you can find at the bottom of the sign-up sheet. Keep the form yourself. You or your group leader will turn it into the County Voter Registration Office. Before they go, ask if we can send them an election reminder, letting them know when and where to vote. If yes, Write their name and email on the sign-up sheet on your clipboard. Also, ask if they'd like to volunteer and mark their answer on your sheet too. Thank them for being a voter and remind them to please vote for Democrats up and down the ballot in the November 8, 2022 midterms. Let them know we've got to get Democrats into the Senate and House and that Pennsylvania could decide who wins the majority. Check your Pennsylvania brief, which you'll find in the Pennsylvania Voter Drive in a Box, for the names of Republicans we're fighting and Democrats we're defending. And get those names out there as much as you can. Name recognition is half the battle. Now, put that form at the back of your clipboard and guard it with your life. Great job! If you prefer to register Democrats with your smartphone or tablet, go to voterizer.org slash field. That's our very own partisan voter registration site designed to be the fastest way to register a Democrat. At the bottom, click Volunteers Log In Here and follow the prompts to log in or sign up. This allows you to register multiple people. Once you're in, go back to the top of the page. Pick Pennsylvania as your state and click Get Started. Now you're ready to go into the field and find someone who wants to get registered. When you find that wonderful person, always offer to fill in the information for them. You'll be faster than them because, well, you're on a mission. Reassure them that they'll get a chance to confirm all their information before it's submitted. Of course, if they insist on using their own phone, that's fine. Offer to walk them through it right now, so it gets done. It only takes a couple of minutes, and if we leave it to them, most likely they will not finish the process. It's just human nature. The first question is, do you have a Pennsylvania driver's license or PennDOT ID? If they do, they can register online. If not, they'll have to use a paper form. The next question is, can I sign you up to vote by mail? It's super convenient. Voting by mail dramatically increases voting rates. If they say yes, click register to vote by mail. If they say no for some reason, which should be rare, just click register to vote. Either one of these buttons takes you directly to the Secretary of State's page and believe it or not, you're already through the hard part. Yes! The rest of the process is pretty straightforward. If they'd like to do this in Spanish, click the Menu button in the upper right, then click Español. Now scroll down and follow the prompts. If there's a red bar to the left of any field, it means it's mandatory. Get their name exactly as it appears on their driver's license or PennDOT ID. Make sure they're a citizen. Confirm their age. Mark the correct reason they're registering. Get their date of birth. Sex and race are optional, so skip them. Make sure to get their phone number and email if you can. Get their physical address and confirm that's where they get their mail. If they're experiencing homelessness, check the appropriate box. 
get their county, but municipality is optional, so skip it if they don't know it. Get their driver's license or PennDOT ID card. If they don't have either of those, they can use the last four digits of their social security. If they have neither, they can check the box below. But remember, if they don't have a driver's license or PennDOT ID, they can't complete the process online. They'll need to print out the form, sign it, and mail it in at the end. Next is party preference. As before on the paper form, we are not legally allowed to be partisan here. But please do give them some super useful facts about the Democratic Party. And let them know that if they'd like to vote in the Democratic primary to choose our next Democratic candidates, they'd have to be registered as a Democrat. If this is their first time registering, skip voting information that has changed. If they're updating an existing registration today, you can ask them for their previous name or address. Now show the person your phone and have them make sure all the information you entered is accurate. If everything looks good, ask them to click the button under Declaration that says, I confirm that I have read and agree to the terms above. Now fill in your name as the assistant and the address of Field Team 6, which you can find on this sign-up sheet in Voter Drive in a Box. Skip the phone number. Click the box below. You can skip the poll worker and bilingual interpreter requests. If they already vote by mail and they just changed their address, transfer their mail-in ballots to their new address. If they don't yet vote by mail, let them know how convenient it is and if they agree, check yes. Tell them they will get mail-in ballots for the rest of the current calendar year only. Every year they will get mailed another application for mail-in ballots. Always remember to send those in. Finally, confirm you're not a robot and click continue. If you see this page next, it means you have successfully registered someone to vote in Pennsylvania. Give the voter their confirmation number, which they can use to confirm their registration with their county voter registration office. Let them know they'll receive a voter registration card within 14 days. And if they don't, they should contact their county voter registration office. Also, let them know if it's the first time they'll be voting or even the first time in a new precinct they'll need to bring an ID with them. That can be a driver's license, PennDOT ID, student ID, employee ID, and even a utility bill or paycheck. Now, close the Secretary of State's page, which should take you back to Voterizer. Scroll down and quickly ask if we can send them an election reminder, letting them know when and where to vote. If yes, enter their email and name. And ask them if they'd like to volunteer with us too. There's lots of ways they can help. Thank them for being a voter and remind them to vote for Democrats up and down the ballot so we can save the Senate and House in the midterm elections. After they've gone, one last step. On Voterizer, under How to Go, be sure to check the I Registered to Vote or the I Registered to Vote by Mail button and hit Submit so we at Field Team 6 know that a person was registered. Then scroll down and click the Start Again button and you're back in business. Congratulations, you just added another Pennsylvania Democrat to the voter rolls, bringing us one step closer to victory. This is how we win. Got questions? Find all the materials you need at our voter drive in a box link at fieldteam6.org. Look under resources. 